So, we are discussing about the vertebral column. We know about its different parts, the cervical, the thoracic, the lumbar, coccygeal and so on. Now we are going to talk about each type of vertebrae well in detail. So let's first talk about the cervical vertebrae. The number of cervical vertebrae are seven in almost all mammals including the human beings. And yes, as you can see on the image, it is starting from the base of the head and continues till the thoracic region from which part the thoracic vertebra begin. The entire neck is made up of our cervical vertebrae. Atlas vertebra is the first cervical vertebra starting from the base of the lower jaw whose body is formed of vertebral arc transverse process. It supports the globe of the head like the earth by the atlas. So yes, that is how it exactly looks like. On the image, you can clearly understand how this particular structure, the atlas, is holding the brain. And yes, it is very important for the rotation of head in different directions in order to perceive more stimuli. The atlas vertebra show absence of centrum and neural spine. So neural spines are absent in atlas. The transverse process are long with the transverse foramen. We can observe long transverse processes and definitely there are transverse foramen in the vertebrae atlas. That is the very first one of our vertebral column. The second cervical vertebra is axis. Axis is the second cervical vertebra right after the atlas. So yes, you can clearly understand the structure on this image here. In axis vertebra, odontoid process and dents are found. So we can observe odontoid process and definitely dents, which is a modified form of the centrum of atlas. In atlas, we have seen that the centrum has not been very well developed. So yes, the centrum has not been well developed and it was moreover absent. Whereas in case of axis, we find that the centrum of atlas is little bit of modified. So here we can have a look at the image of atlas and axis. Atlas is the number one vertebra and axis is the number two vertebra. We can observe the transverse foramen in both the vertebra. We observe the transverse process here. The spinous process is visible here. We observe the vertebral foramen. We observe the odontoid process or dents and definitely the transverse process here at the lateral side. That is how the two vertebrae are being observed. The odontoid process of axis fits into the canal of atlas. To provide head with sideways rotation, the transverse processes are small. So odontoid process of axis will fit into canal of atlas. This particular odontoid process is definitely going to fit into the canal of atlas and this is very important for the structural arrangement of the cervical vertebrae which enable rotation of head in different direction namely the left and the right. The transverse processes like you have already seen on the diagram are small. The typical cervical vertebra which come thereafter contain long neural spine Yes, we can observe the neural spine which are comparatively long. The centrum is arcillus and transverse processes are long. The vertebroarterial canals 
are found, which are also called foramina transversia. So these are the characteristics of the typical cervical vertebrae. We observe the vertebral foramen here clearly, the spinous processes are visible. We observe the transverse foramen and transverse processes and that is how the structure of a typical cervical vertebra is being observed. Let us now talk about the thoracic vertebra which come after the cervical vertebra and broadly involved into the thoracic cavity. For thoracic vertebra, the centrum is acylus and neural canal is formed by the union of two neural arcs. So, in case of thoracic vertebra, we have two neural arcs which are forming the neural canal and definitely the centrum is acylus. The neural spine is a flat and long directed backwards. So, definitely flat and long neural spine is clearly being observed in case of the thoracic vertebra and that is directed backwards like you can observe on the image given here of the thoracic vertebra. So, this is the long structure known as the neural spine. Also we observe the club shaped transverse process. So, here we find the neural spine the transverse process, the body, superior articular process, the spinal canal here, the lamina and so on. So, these are the structures which clearly characterize the thoracic vertebra which come up after the cervical vertebrae. neural arc is found with superior articular process. So, with superior articular process we observe the neural arc. The two sides of the neural arc as a whole form the neural canal. Two demi facets for articulation of head of a rib are present. So, rib facets are observed here and these are present for articulation of head of a rib, so that they can be conjoined. 